let's see. Okay, yeah. Out of all the bookers that you've worked with, do you consider Paul the best? Or uh, where, where does he kind of lay out there for you? Because, I mean, like, he gave you that creative freedom. And then you see a lot of the work that he do does, you know, did in ECW. Then what he's been doing, too, with the Bloodline story and stuff. It's just like, you know, he's got a good mind. But where do you kind of rank him? If I, And I don't even necessarily like the ranking kind of thing. I just think it's just like, how, how would you put him in perspective as a booker? Um, I think, yes, I think, you know, that as far as booking goes, in my opin opinion, I think he's the best. And that's also because I like his stuff in particular. He got a lot of pushback from the WWE office in 2001 during the alliance. A lot of his ideas got opposed. Same thing when we brought ECW back. For the sci-fi network a lot of his ideas were opposed there was other bookers in the office that think completely different they would think it's ridiculous to think paul's got the best ideas because they thought the exact opposite and tried to stop all of his ideas but i agree with uh the with that sentence that he he's the best that that i know of um bookers and promoters can be separated if you want to look at the agenda and look at a booker as somebody that books the angles and the matchups storylines whatever maybe they book the towns too i don't know because that's a whole nother you know how can i say he's the best at booking the towns you know what i mean right, yeah, yeah. Well, that's different um and, and so now there's a writer besides a booker when you get to the big companies like that. And then, um, and then, you know, the promoter, which a lot of times it's the promoter that books the towns and then is responsible for advertising the towns. So there's, there's a lot of different perspectives. Usually what people in the business do, they choose the perspective that works best for them. So <laughs> if it's a great, if it's a great house and you're in the main event, you know, then you take credit for it, you know, like uh, everyone comes up to you. Hey, thanks for the house. Yeah. Th yeah. No problem. No sweat. Thank you. Thank you, brother. You know, hey, hey thanks for the house. Uh, if it's the cra if it's the shits and, and nobody's there, then you blame the promoter. <laughs> and you say, he didn't do anything. He didn't advertise. They didn't even know at the gym four blocks away that we were here at the civic center in town. How could he have done a good job? We gave out the flyers. Nobody put the flyers out. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, anybody, any of those guys could then uh, try to put some heat on the booker and then say, ah, you know, we had some lousy matchups. Nobody wants to see that crap. No one's going to pay and see that. Send me some stars or, you know, I mean, this town is a spoiled town. They have wrestling all the time. And you send me the, the C team. There, there's always, you know, so if you split it up like that and think about it, um, let's say that, that Paul, you know, with the agenda of booking the angles and uh, probably writing, definitely my fave. Yeah. Yeah. He's hard to argue against too, <laughs> you know, very hard to argue against. Yeah. 